Welcome everyone. Um, today we are going to do a little bit of a different type of reading. I've been wanting to do these, uh, do a reading like this for a while. Um, so today what I'm going to do is a reading on Erica Jane of um, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and everything she's going through with her husband. Um, if you don't watch it, then <laughs> you probably don't care. Um, and I don't have one opinion or another. I just want to see what the cards have to say. And what I want to know is if um, Erica Jane knew about uh, her husband's financial affairs. Let's say that. Um, and is she telling the truth about his um, infidelities, that type of thing. So we're just looking at that current situation. Does she Did she know or did she not know? Um, Let's go ahead and get into it. So I did look up her birthday and she was born on July 10th, um, 1971. I don't know if she wants me to say that. Um, she's a Cancer. She has a life path of one. And I think that's why um, she's attracted to the lights, you know, um, everything she does, the singing career, her acting, all that, I, I, you know, that, it's a perfect avenue when you have a life path one. She is under a personal year four this year. If you're not sure what that means, um, I do have, I have a playlist that uh, goes over your numerology for the year. And her husband, Tom, is a Gemini, um, born on June 3rd. And he has a life path four, but he's in a personal year five, so change change um and he's had a lot of change from what we hear okay so let's begin and again this is about erica jane did she know about or even was she involved about his financial um what do you want what do you want to call them infidelities Or was she naive to it? Did she know nothing about it? Let's ask the cards and let's begin. You guys let me know how you like this video. If you do, um, I would love to do more um, and would love to hear suggestions of who you would like to see or hear about. And let's begin. We're going to start with the Tree of Dreams. All about Erica Jane. Did she know? What did she know? Or did she not know? Well, it came out in a big chunk. We have the Lovers. Um, card of Gemini, which is Tom's card. We have the Ten of Swords. Interesting. We have the Five of Swords. Um, I feel like this is talking about, I think they have been divorced now. I think they did have a divorce. If not, they're definitely going through that. We have the Ace of Swords. Hmm. We have the High Priestess. We have the Palace of Cups under the Ten of Cups. We have, look at this, we have the Four of Swords, a lot of sword energy, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, if I was just to look at this, um, first of all, we start off with Tom's card, um, and but right underneath that, we have the High Priestess, and I feel like that's Erica Jane, that is her, um, whether she knew or not, um, I feel like she felt that. Ten of Swords right next to him um, with the Five of Swords next to that tells me this is the time period that, um, you know, the ending of the relationship and then the mo then Erica Jane actually moving out. I don't feel like it was easy. I feel like it's a showing that was actually difficult for her to do this um, because healing is needed. Um, I feel like at one time, maybe in the beginning, they probably had quite a romantic type relationship. Um, I don't think it stayed that way uh, at all. 
probably the opposite. Um, I'm seeing a lot of swords connected to him, so he very, very well may have been somewhat like of a narcissistic type energy. Um, I really don't know anything about him. So that's why I like doing these readings. I don't want to know. I want to go by with what I'm, I'm reading and feeling. Um, so, you know, and then we have... Uh, so anyways, I feel like, yes, he was. I feel like in the beginning there was there was definitely romance. Um, I Right off the bat, I'm kind of feeling like she probably did not know... Um, and I feel like also, not only did she not know, um, I feel like her heart was broken. And I feel like her heart probably still is broken over all of this. Um, I feel like when she probably first met him, she probably had a realization that, you know, this may not be something that lasts forever. Um, because I do feel like Erica Jane is very intuitive, though I don't really know her. Um, but I do feel that, I feel this is her energy and she's very intuitive. She's very intuitive to Tom, um, you know, also being cancer, very open, right? So they one time had this good relationship showing the separation between the two and um, Eric had then going through this period, which um, has probably already taken place. I don't feel like this is something that she will wallow over for a very long time uh, because right next to that is the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, I don't know if they had a prenup or not. I don't know if there's any money left, all of that. But what I do feel is ultimately she will be successful again on her own. Um, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is um, independent energy. Um, and, you know, I have a feeling down the road that she's probably going to write a book about this situation, about her relationship, and maybe about him. Um, I feel like that is down the road, uh, just another avenue that she may take. Interesting. I feel like right now she's holding back a lot of what she does know. Um, but I do feel like it's all going to come out in a book. She's going to write a book. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. I feel like that was her entering into this relationship much younger than Tom. Um, I don't know their age difference, but it's but I think it's at least 30 years. So, um, you know, Page of Cups is really where you're just starting to know yourself and um, hopefully learning to love yourself and give yourself opportunity. And I definitely feel that energy for her. So I definitely feel this is her, like, coming in much younger um, into a relationship. And I do find it is interesting that in the lovers, you feel that connection, right? But right after it is that Ten of Swords. So, you know, I can say, at least at my table, I feel like Erica has taken um, probably verbal abuse for quite some time in this relationship. It's interesting because, you know, I try not to put my own opinion in it. I do watch the show, um, and I do feel that she's being a little suspicious. But I have to say, when in the reading, it's it's kind of telling me the opposite. You know, she may have definitely had feelings that things weren't right, um, that he wasn't being fair to, you know, from what I understand, um, I, you know what, I don't even know. Let's not even get into it. Um, because ultimately, I do feel that Erica will have success again. Um, she doesn't need to worry about her finances. I feel like she will build them up again. Um, she'll be fine. I think when the last time I watched the show, she said she was broke. I don't see her being broke for long. Um, there is probably this period, right, the healing over the separation. Uh, even if, you know, even if those ten swords existed, uh, which they did, it's saying that Erica stayed for quite a long time. Um, and even in the Five of Swords, you know, how to think about it. You know, the Five of Swords talks about the toxicity in our lives and looking at it and then making an, an, a, a decision of, do I want to stay in this or is it too much? Well, the Ten of Swords tells me it's too much. So... Let's go ahead and bring in the Gilded Tarot. And let's just go over this real quick. Give me a 
couple shuffles. This is already pre-shuffled, by the way. Interesting how I see the magician on the bottom of the deck, which would be um, Erica. You know, I think her life path number helps her a lot. Um, I do think she takes things very deeply, very, um, you know, um, very sensitive, let's say, emotionally. Um, and you can kind of see her that, like, how angry she gets, how quickly um, she may jump on someone who disagrees with her. But I feel like that's coming from a place of almost sadness. Um, you know, she wants to come across as such a strong woman, but I feel like when I look at this, I can see, like, the real her, the, um, the emotional um, elements of her. But nonetheless, I feel like this is an experience that maybe um, in, the, in the long run, she will overcome. All right, let's start at the beginning. So we're going to look at the lovers. Again, cards Tom or Tom's card. That's weird. Mercury retrograde making me talk backwards. Interesting how all the cards want to come out in these little blocks. We have the death card. So that's the end, right? That's the door is being closed. This is not something that will come back together. Um, you know, I don't think it's talking about Tom's health, though I know Tom, um, you know, from what, just on the show, I feel like, you know, he is suffering some health issues right now, but again, we're not looking into that, so this to me is about the door that is closing here, um, the finale, right, the end. We have justice, wow, divorce, maybe they are already divorced. Come right over that ten of swords, you know. It's almost like I can see the um, her side of the papers being written up. You know, is more than one can handle. So justice, interesting. We have the page of pentacles, and then we have judgment. Look at that. Judgment's about a rebirth. Again, this is Erica's reading, so this is um, a rebirth within her life. And I feel like, again, um, it ultimately she ends up in success on her own. Um, and maybe that's what she needs to find for a while, like her own success uh, outside of anyone else. I know he financed a lot of like her shows. I think she was, um, was going to do Chicago right before uh, COVID hit. So anyways, this is a better rebirth. So we have the ending here, a clear ending, a divorce, definitely a divorce. More than I can take, right? It was just more than I can take. Here's what I had hoped for, this Palace of Cups. I, you know, what what you, you entered this relationship promising me, right? Um, a happy home, this is more than that. And I feel like they did have more than that. Um, you know, I, they lived in a mansion and all that. So, you know, it came true for a moment, right? But the Page of Pentacles coming over this Five of Swords tells me that this is really a learning experience for Erica. And I felt that earlier. You like, this is something that she really is learning from. Um, you know, she said she loved Tom, but I want to say maybe she didn't. Uh, maybe she, you know, had a dream in her mind and um, he fit that picture. But ultimately, I don't feel like, um, because I feel like she's learning from this, that, that tells me that her soul um, asked for this lesson, so to speak. And judgment is a rebirth from that. You know, coming over that Ace of Swords, I just can't help think that um, in some way, somehow, using this situation that ultimately will put her in a much more independent way. And when I say using, I don't, I don't mean necessarily like, you know, okay, I'm going to do this against Tom. I don't know, this may be after Tom passes. Um, I think he's in ill health. If he's not, I kind of do feel that. Um, 
but here's the divorce verse so I feel like you know the divorce he must still be alive at this point okay just keep going we have the chariot her card how interesting we have Tom's card the lover now we have the chariot which is Cancer's card her card um, you know this is over it's over she's moving on from it we have the six of cups hmm. we have the five of wands and we have the six of Pentacles um, first of all, I want to say I feel like there's a lot of ego in this this relationship. I don't think that, um, you know, some of the things I heard her say about like, you know, she couldn't really have her own voice. I, I have a feeling she did have her voice in it. Um, I don't think that um, she kept quiet, you know, um, but I do have to tell you, I feel like, uh, you know, for her, you know, it's like she is moving it's almost like moving into or moving to a period where um there were happy memories i feel like she's going to meet someone um that's more around her age and it may be someone who kind of comes out of the woodwork um of an of an earlier time in her life and i kind of feel like they may come out of the woodwork um it could be someone she was with before uh, where it didn't quite work out, but I feel like if that's the case She'll find that You know, I feel like she's truly gonna find herself in the long run over this. She's gonna Understand all that she's been through um, It really has been quite a learning process for her and ultimately what it's showing me is if you know, it's like if she follows the energy if she understands if she learns from this it brings her to a place of a much more balanced type woman let's just say person um it brings her to a place of having you know empathy for others who are going through who are who are going through what she had gone through again this may come in a form of a book and you know i have a feeling because the six of pentacles coming over that um, I feel like she will give some of the proceeds away. So I feel like it's coming from a very generous part of her. Um, but ultimately, I see a book coming out. And um, it may not come out until Tom crosses over. Um, I don't know if they're divorced yet or not, but they will be if they're not. So I feel like, you know, he's still alive while that process happens. Um, again, I feel like someone out of the woodwork that comes and um, kind of reintroduces himself to her and, um, you know, so I don't see her being any less than because of this. So I don't think she knew. I think she may have felt that something wasn't right. Um, but other than that, honestly, I did. I wanted to know if she was being honest. I feel she is being honest. I feel like her only problem may be that she she can come across defensive, like very defensive, but it's coming from, a, again, a broken place, you know, a hurtful place. Um, but nonetheless, like there's healing. She, she'll she be able to heal all this if, if she chooses and ultimately end up in a place of real success. But this success is all coming from her. And I think that may be important for her. Uh, maybe she doesn't know that yet, but I feel like, you know, knowing that that success is from her, you know, period, her hard work, um, even if it's a book, I feel like if she writes a book, it's going to be a bestseller. And I feel like it will be a book that talks about how not to um, find yourself in that type of relationship. I feel like it's going to be very open. Um, but I feel like it's also going to be cathartic and healing for her. So that's, I think, where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to have to say, Erica Jane, I believe you. Um, I believe you. And I feel like, um, you know, as time moves on, uh, you're going to be just fine. I feel like you have success here. 
You know, the Nine of Pentacles talks about a guardian angel, um, but it's after much reflection. It talks about the time that she's put in towards her career. She's a hard worker. I see it. Um, and ultimately, I feel like this, you know how if you watch, if you see her on, you know, the show, she can be very defensive, right? She just, it, boom, it comes out of nowhere. I think this whole experience is softening her. And um, it feels good. So that's my take on it. You tell me what you think. Um, tell me what you think of the reading. I'd love to read your comments. Uh, if there's anyone that you would like me to do a reading on, you know, it has to be more than one person. But if I get a bunch of people who are like, yes, do this person. Um, and it doesn't matter if I know them or not. It's best that I don't. All I know is from what I watch on the TV show. So, yeah. Let me know. Um, thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, not my typical video. So if you're new, um, I also, you know, check out my channel because it, you'll see. There's a lot of videos that um, are there for you. Okay, I'm going to leave it be. I love you guys. Thank you again. Um, I'll see you next time at my table. Bye-bye.